Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about industry half-truths. There's a lot of those out there in the industry and these are ones that keep coming up all the time. So I, I want to, there's like 15 of them, but take, you know, groups of two or three and talk about them. So the first one is uh, all rooms end in the corners of the rooms. True statement, technically. Where else could they end? It's a box. A room, right? Where else could they end but here, here, here? They're trapped, okay? So, that's a true statement. But here's what happens. Not all amplitudes end in the corners. And I would even add to that, not all frequencies. So what are we talking about? The goal is to treat frequencies and amplitudes. When we first design rooms and we start looking at the dimensions, we look for the lowest frequency with the highest amplitude. That's the largest elephant in the room that you have to treat. Remember, the elevator to success is out of order. You have to take the stairs one step at a time. So you got to go after the frequency and the amplitude. Who cares where it's located? But you see how companies use this. We've measured walls, pressures, at all room locations. And we find that the pressures on the walls, surface area, can be much greater than the corners at lower frequencies. So that's what you have to force yourself to, to try to understand that there's the focus first. Remember, always have to go after low frequencies. Always first. Here's another one. One of my favorites. Boom is a bass trap. Well, even the name is marketing hype. Because bass is not trapped. Low frequency wave energy is not trapped by anything. Even our products. Some is reflected back. Some goes through the unit. Some is attenuated. It's physics. Try to create a bigger and better sponge. That's <laughs> what you do. Soak up these pressure waves. So foam is not a material type that can deal with pressure waves, by definition. See how they take something, and if you don't know what they're taking, you don't understand, and then you buy and it doesn't work. Here's another one, subs and corners. Quantity versus quality argument. People go so far as, well, if you put one in each corner, you don't need low-frequency management room treatment. No, I've tried that. Let's look at cost-benefit. What are subs today? 2500 You need four. It's ten grand. What are you going to get for ten grand on the frequency response curve? What kind of benefit are you going to get here? You're going to get between 3 and 6 dB improvement in lower-end frequency response. Maybe. For 10 grand. 10 grand, you can treat the whole room for low frequency management and get a 10, 12 dB improvement. I don't see the argument. I see the argument if there's no technology, but we have that technology. So there's no argument. Why would you want to create 3 to 6 dB of room distortion to get more? More distortion. Okay, that's what you're doing. Here's another one. This double wall. It's a noise barrier. People build it all the time. Then they call me. They say, well, it didn't work. I said, well, what's the application? Did you measure the noise? No. Okay. Most of the time, it's home theater builders. People that do this for a living use this method. It's horrible. It works for frequencies above 125, which is voice. Won't stop bass. Won't stop pressure waves. They'll go right through it. 
how do you fix it? Tear it down, start all over. <laughs> That's the problem with barriers. It's a problem with noise guessing. People do it all the time. Don't read that stuff on the internet, <laughs> please. All right. Just ask any home th theater builder. I could give you a list of a dozen right now. If you use that method and won't use it anymore. What's that method take? Well, it's two two by fours, right? So what do we got? Seven inches there. And then it may be a two inch airspace between them. So you got nine inches. Take nine inches to stop energy at 125 hertz or greater. <laughs> I can do it in four. So you got to know what you're fighting. You got to know your enemy. Industry half-truths. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.